Welcome to the final module in our Getting Started series. In this module we will look at generating fabrication files. With the design completed, transferred to the PCB, layout complete and checked, we are now ready to generate the needed files for fabrication, which include Gerber NC drill files for PCB fabrication and pick and place files for PCB assembly. To generate the needed Gerber files, Use the file pull down menu and select fabrication outputs and then select Gerber files. Before we go ahead, notice in Altium Designer there are a number of output formats supported, including Gerber X2 and IPC2581. In this case, we will use the industry standard basic Gerber files. This opens up the Gerber setup window. Here we can review and change settings to suit our fabrication requirements. Under the General tab, we will select 2.3 for the format, as we do not have a need for very high precision and the associated costs. Clicking on the Layers tab, we need to select which layers to plot for the Gerber files. Normally by default, there are no layers selected. I often use the Plot Layers pull-down menu at the bottom left of the window and select Used On. This allows the tool to plot all the used layers in this PCB. Under the Drill Drawing tab, I usually select Plot All Used Drill Pairs for both sections. We will leave the Apertures tab alone and just have a brief look at the Advanced tab, but will not change anything here. Click OK to start the generation process. With the Gerber generation done, the Camtastic viewer opens with the various layers plotted. We can look at them individually or several at a time by right mouse click in the Camtastic panel current layer pane and selecting turn all off then selecting those layers we want to see. I generally just close this file and do not save it. Now let's generate the NC drill files using the file pull down menu fabrication files and then selecting NC drill files. This opens up the NC drill setup window. We will keep the defaults but change the format to 2.3 and click OK. Click OK again and see the Camtastic NC Drill Drawing view. I normally close and do not save this view. We can see the files generated under the Generated folder in the Projects panel. Now we have the Gerber files and NC Drill files generated. They are located under the Project Files Project Outputs for Expansion Board directory, as you can see here by right mouse click and select Explore. Now we can generate the pick and place files using the file pull down menu option assembly outputs and selecting generate pick and place files. This opens up the pick and place setup window where we can configure the pick and place file for our particular vendor and output either CSV or text depending on what is needed. Clicking OK generates the files, in this case a text file. Under the generated file folder in the projects panel we can see and view the various files generated, including the just generated pick and place file. To view this file, right mouse click on it and select open. This concludes our getting started series. If you would like to look deeper into the tool capacity and improved efficiency, consider additional training and for short term insight, consider using the F1 key to jump into the online technical documentation. Thank you.